All right, guys, happy January 1st. I have a very large, nice-sized haul for you guys. We went to Meijer, Costco, and Sam's. I know, but I have stories and reasons why we went to places. I'll start over here with Costco, and some of this stuff has already started getting put away, and I'll explain, but we went to Costco to try to find some sheets that they had. They did not have them in the color that we wanted, but while we were there, we picked up a bag of our baking crumbles. We love these, and we also picked up some of our Kerrygold butter. I think it was a four, four double pack or three double pack. There's just two of them. <laughs> Seth's already started putting stuff away. I was like, I need to film it. And he's like, no, you don't. <laughs> so that was really it from Costco. We didn't get anything else. And then from Sam's, we went to browse around since we were in the area. Sam's and Costco are like three minutes from each other. But we did need to go in to get some of the pepperoni. Ian loves this. And he requested this for his lunches because he starts back to school Thursday. Onward with Meyer. <laughs> Everything else is Meyer. I picked up some maraschino cherries. They sound really, really good right now. <laughs> Two of these salted caramel. Do you say caramel or caramel? Two of the yogurts. I picked up some of this um, uncured salami, some turkey breast, some eggs, some of my zero caramel macchiato creamer, some orange juice. I picked up a six pack of my sugar, my zero sugar peach tea. I picked up a six pack of Coke Zero and a six pack of Mountain Dew Zero. Like I said, he's already started putting things away, which is what that is down there. <laughs> um, picked up some more Mission um, card balance wraps, some carrots because I'm going to do pot roast tonight um, or tomorrow night. Yeah. Tomorrow night, I think. Yeah, one of the nights. Probably tomorrow night. We'll do that. Uh, I picked up a Caesar chopped salad kit and a Buffalo Ranch chopped salad kit. Picked up some grapes, some green onions, a yellow onion, some sesame seeds, garlic, bananas, ginger paste, some more G. Hughes sugar free steak sauce. Some of the Mandarin teriyaki sauce that Ian or that Seth likes from Panda Express. It's really, really good. Some Honey Nut Cheerios. Let's see. Strawberries. Some avocados. A three pound bag of cuties that have already started getting put away. A couple Honeycrisp apples. A couple potatoes. And then some things for Ian's lunches. He likes these cookies and cream Z bars and then some organic Honest Kids juice boxes. This is everything for my family for the next week and, you know, maybe going forward a little bit past a week. Get this put away. And, uh, yeah, I plan on doing a meal prep video, so I will probably tack that on to this. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute, I guess, for meal prep. <laughs> Today I am meal prepping. It is the 2nd of January. Happy 2023. Um, and yeah, meal prepping. Lots of fun things. Happy, happy Monday. We're going to do um, adult Lunchables, Bacon Greer, Egg Bites, and I'm going to do Pot Roast for dinner. I'm going to show you what I'm eating for breakfast and lunch and all that good stuff um today and then a sheet pan brussels sprouts carrots and kielbasa but right now i'm gonna show you breakfast real quick here is my breakfast it's just some bacon eggs on some mission low carb wraps um i also have some nando's peri peri garlic medium sauce all right so in here i have six eggs i'm gonna make 12 egg bites i have a sprayed already I'm gonna add a good amount of salt and then mom's gonna add pepper I'm gonna whisk these up and now as evenly as I can possibly get these I'm gonna pour 
a little bit of mixture in each one. That might be too much. Maybe I won't get 12. I'll get seven or eight. I'm trying to be even, but. All right, well. That wasn't as much as I wanted to get. I got seven, so you know, it's okay. I'm doing the no, me no measure method. I'm putting some bacon in each one. Just gonna grate some of this greer. The cups are back. I'm gonna sprinkle some in each cup, a good amount. I'm gonna take a little fork and just kind of mix it up a little bit. Just kind of get that cheese mixed in so it's not just one big clump in there. I am back. The egg bites are done and they're cooling. Now I'm gonna start on my little sheet pan meal. I have just a little bit of Brussels sprouts here. I'm gonna use up. I'm gonna spray my pan here with some olive oil. I'm gonna just cut these Brussels sprouts in half. I'm gonna place these on. Mommy, Mommy, I opened it with my bare hands. Did you? Let's see. Do some carrots. I'm going to do a couple meals. I'm not going to do a whole lot. I have some just smoked sausage. I've got my oven preheated. I'm gonna turn this down to 300. I don't want the Brussels sprouts to burn. So I'm gonna cook these low and slow. Cut. Not too thick, not too thin. I hope everybody had a good New Year's Eve. I think for the first time in a long time, I didn't make any resolutions. I just am going into this new year with a better mind frame, not necessarily new year, new me, but just same me, just better choices. Better choices, be happier, do more things, see more things, spend time with more people, live. That's what I wanna do this year. So, now that we've got this all ready, really not many Brussels sprouts, is there? <laughs> I'm gonna do some pepper, a little bit of salt. I've got my little garlic all infused olive oil. I'm gonna just go ahead and sprinkle over. A little bit of garlic powder. Mix the stuff up. Let's give it a zhuzh. Spread out. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 30 minutes. All right, my little sheet pan dinner is done. And to be honest, this is probably gonna be. It will probably be one dinner. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Tasted it. I wish I would have added a little bit more seasonings, but it's okay. Um, I did forget to have this in my grocery haul yesterday. This is just a bottom round roast for the pot roast that I'm going to make. So here's everything. We got the roast, we got carrots, potatoes, we have a yellow onion, we have this Kinder's um, stew seasoning. I got some thyme and some rosemary and garlic. So let's magically make all this go into here. There we go. In here we've got potatoes, carrots, onions, the seasonings, all the good stuff. I'm gonna cook this 
probably on low for like six hours and then cook it on high about the last hour. So if we probably won't eat dinner till about eight o'clock tonight, which will be fine. So I'm gonna put the lid on and uh, go relax for a while because I'm tired. All right, guys, it is 3.40 and I'm gonna have a little snack. I didn't need lunch. I did have one of the egg bites earlier, but I'm just gonna sip on some zero sugar Mountain Dew, celery and peanut butter, and one of these Atkins chocolates. Let's look at the pot roast. Ooh, it looks delicious. I'm gonna put it on high here in about an hour or two, but also look at our day. It is gloomy. Here are my Lunchables that I did. Just little, like, little snacky plate, quick, easy lunch, something if I'm hungry. I did some salami, some high key sea salt crackers. This one has white cheddar and this one has onion white cheddar. And then I have a couple of Russell Stover's little treats in each one, pecan delight and coconut. This one is caramel and peanut butter cup. And that is going to be it for my meal prep, guys. But I'll show you dinner when it's ready later. All right, guys. Pot roast is done. Let's take a look. This is what we have. I pulled the meat out and have cut it a little bit. I'm going to shred it and put it back in. Keep it on low. Boo will be home in about 40 minutes. I'm gonna taste that too, but I've already tasted some. It's really good.